everybody, how you doing? This is Kaylana, the Blush Driver here, and so I'm going to do a vlog today on why Instacart is hiring so many people. And the reason why I'm actually doing this particular vlog is because I have seen a lot of comments from very new shoppers and also veteran shoppers, and they're trying to figure out, okay, what's going on, why they're hiring so many people, especially when they can't get hours. Um, I recently seen a very brand new shopper like he hasn't even shopped yet he hasn't even gotten his card but he actually just got put into the system and he said that he couldn't get any hours at all and um he was just basically asking some questions and he was like okay well if i can't pick hours then why do they keep hiring so many people and they just hired me um and there's a couple of reasons for that you guys but the first reason why Instacart is hiring so many people is what i said in the previous video is that they want to make sure that they have backup because in case in case a shopper decides to cancel hours for whatever reason, because it's none of our business for like whatever reason they, they cancel their shift or they cancel their hours for the day or just for a block of time at the last minute, they need to make sure that um, Instacart needs to make sure that there's enough shoppers on board to cover any um, any orders or, or, or batches. So that way the customer's order will not get, um, you know, uh, lost or no one's going to be able to take care of it. That's one reason. Another reason is um, that Instacart is all about numbers. Now, and, I, and I'm not just talking about you know financial um, numbers, but I'm talking about speed. Now, this doesn't occur with shipped. Anybody that shops with shipped, you guys should probably already know this. Shipped, their platform is totally different. They don't time you, as far as I know, and this is what I've been told by other uh, ship shoppers. You know, they don't worry about that. And they're happy. Like I've always seen ship shoppers; they're just as happy as can be. And um, and the thing is, that's the reason why your metrics are so important. And when I say your metrics, I'm talking about like your shopping speed, um, how fast you are, and things like that. Now there are shoppers who shop so fast that they store stuff in a cart, and without even worrying about if it's right or wrong or whatever. So that's really not my business. But that's one thing: it's metrics. And what I have seen. And what other shoppers have seen is that they've been hiring a lot of younger people. Now, I've seen all types of people of all ages. And I think they try to throw in a mix of people. But honestly, um, what I've seen is that they're, they're hiring people that are a lot younger. Like, I seen a guy in the store yesterday, actually. And he looked like he couldn't have been more than 18. Like, he looked very young. But I know in order to I know that in order to, to deliver alcohol, you have to be 21 or older. Um, so I, I can't say that he was 18, but he looked very young. And so that's one thing. Um, I know it may cost Instacart some money if any of these shift leads or managers have to train new shoppers because anytime you get hired with Instacart, you're supposed to have a four hour, at least a four hour onboarding session. And typically the onboarding sessions are inside of a grocery store. And that's what happened to me like last, like last year, I want to say it's like last October or so, November, I had my four hour onboarding session at a Publix. It was me and probably like maybe eight other people that were in there. And it was, it was a girl that was actually from San Francisco. It was two ladies, but it was one girl that was there. And they trained us and she gave us the, the insights about Instacart. We had to do a demo shop and we all got approved and everything. They gave us a lanyard. They gave us like even like little cards. I mean, it was on point. But now I think that some things have changed. And so what they're doing is, of course, if you cannot prove, I'm not saying that, I'm not assuming anything. I'm just saying this is what it looks like. Say, suppose if Instacart is only hiring people because they're young or because of their age. Um, that means that if they were to do an onboarding session and if they were to see somebody that was a little bit older, maybe like 35 plus or maybe 40 to 50 plus, and... They didn't hire them because usually they'll let you know on the spot if they if, if you're gonna get hired. Well, somebody could probably sue them for discrimination because they're because you know they're um you know they're in front of the the person who trained them and you know is live it's you know in living color so you know but if you do that behind the scenes if you just hire people whenever and based upon their age of course because you're looking at their their file when they apply then you can't prove that you see what I'm saying so I'm not saying that that's the case I'm saying that if if they're doing that that's wrong. So, like I said, the first one is um, has a lot to do with metrics. And so, if your metrics are very high, like meaning like if you're a fast shopper, they want you on there. If you have very little mistakes, they want to keep you on there. Um, but um, from what another shopper told me, this is what one shopper told me. This is how she felt. 
she said this is somebody local in my area she said that she feels like instacart wants to have whoever on a board that they choose and so um i don't know if that's true or not but i do know that there are that there are area managers that um, are watching people behind the scenes like they're sitting at home they have like a little computer or whatever and they're watching people's metrics they're watching conversations that goes on between you and the customer they see your speed um they see like everything you see what i'm saying and so they do have the ability to disable you from getting hours. The reason why I say that is because, as you guys know, some of you guys don't know this, but if you look, if you look a couple months back, I did a, a blog about an incident that I had at a local store. And um, one of the associates at the store and the deli department lied on me, and she made everything up. And even when I was willing to go through the videos at the store to prove that I never did what she said, they didn't want to do that. And so the manager threatened that if I, if I didn't contact him about the issue, he was going to dis, he wasn't going to de deactivate me, but he was going to disable me from picking hours. So with him saying that pretty much let me know that you don't know what they're doing behind the scenes to try to block you guys from getting hours. Sometimes there is a glitch. Um, but I think that if, because he said that you never know what they could be doing. Like, like they, they could just press a button and you're trying to get on on a Sunday or on a Wednesday to pick hours and it keeps buffering or you can't do it. You don't know what they're doing. So that could be a factor too. Like maybe the manager doesn't like you. I don't know. I'm just saying. So like I said, it could be the metrics issue. Um, it could be the age issue. Um, and also, like I said, they want to make sure they have enough shoppers on board in case it gets busy. Maybe your area is growing. That's another factor. Um, you might be in, a, in an area where it's growing so fast. They want to make sure they have enough people. However, I do not think that I don't understand that because and it's not just in my zone, it's, it's in different states. I'm seeing people are like, why are you hiring so many people? One of the reasons why what I discover is that they're trying to push certain people out. Like there have been people that have been on board with Instacart for years. And of course, we're independent contractors, so we're not going to be able to get unemployment. We're not going to be able to get any benefits from this. But they're trying to push certain people out. And that's why I see some of the younger people come in. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I don't consider myself too old. I mean, I'm 39. But you know, I don't know what, what they're looking at. And my scores have always been good. My metrics have been pretty decent. So, I mean, I don't know what, I don't, honestly, guys, I don't know what their reasoning is. I see people post these questions all the time. Why are they doing this? This is, these are some of the factors that could be, but I, I don't know why Instacart do, do what they do. Um, but you guys have to just do the best that you can. Um, and I know that it can be kind of frustrating when you have been with the company for a long time and you try to get on there to make some money pick your hours and then you can't do nothing because either the app freezes or they're all gone or whatever. And so, like I said, y'all, this is not a business. You know, even though we're, we're labeled independent contractors, I still look at myself as an employee because, you know, my thing is if you got to like pick work hours, if you got to wear a t-shirt or land, if you got there are rules. So, you know, you're still technically working for these people, but you're independent contractors. So they don't have to pay you benefits. You see what I'm saying? And so, um, I, I just, you know, I feel bad y'all and it happens to me too. So don't feel bad. It happens to me too, where I can't get on there and pick hours because it happened to me like this past Sunday. I mean, I was able to get hours, you know, but I wasn't able to work in a zone that I usually work in. You feel what I'm saying? And so you guys have to just try your best. Um, sometimes you may have to turn off your Wi-Fi when you try to pick hours. I don't know, like, like whatever works for you, but those are some of the reasons why they're hiring so many people. And I believe there's a reason for that. Um, some people Instacart were not touch because of the whole lawsuit that happened a couple months back. So they ain't gonna mess with them and I don't blame them. Um, but that's the best thing I, I can suggest you guys is, is to keep trying and, you know, don't get so frustrated. And I know sometimes I feel like, gosh, like what's going on, but they're going to do what they do. And my thing is, it's not my company. I don't own it. I don't even own any shares in it. So, you know, that's, that's, that's just what it is. And so I just kind of feel like, you know, if you feel like you're being pushed out, then look for something else, you know? Um, Instacart is allegedly supposed to be changing that. They're supposed to have a, they're, they're supposed to have their, their setup almost like shipped to where um, you're able to, to get on and get off whenever you feel like it. I don't know how that's going to work because they're still hiring too many people. You feel what I'm saying? And so um, some zones may be growing and maybe your zone, your area is growing and you don't know it. And meaning that there are, meaning that there are customers who are ordering a lot more than usual or they're getting new customers and stuff like that. So those are a whole bunch of factors that could be included as well. Instacart is growing. They're adding more services. You know, they're adding more stores. You feel what I'm saying? And so 
they have to try to keep up and, and they have to try to make sure that they're they're covered in all bases they want to make sure that they have shoppers you know always handy in case somebody cancels or in case something happens you know what i'm saying um but you know how many shoppers can you have you feel what i mean i hope you guys understand like, like what i'm saying so um that's the best thing i can tell you guys like i i see this question all the time i get this question a lot like why are they hiring so many people and they just hired me or I can't pick any hours because of this and this and this. Um, that's the best thing I can tell you. And just do the best that you can, guys. Just try not to let it get to you. Um, and I know there's days where I just be like, for real, Instacart, for real. <laughs> you know, but uh, just, I don't know, just just do what you can. And just and if you can't get any hours, pick another platform. I mean, I'm on probably like six platforms, you know. And, uh, and I know Uber, they're doing grocery delivery, but it's not like Uber, Instacart, like where you get paid good. Uber ain't, ain't about nothing when it comes to their grocery delivery. So hopefully they'll change that. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you. Um, just keep looking. Just keep trying to look throughout the day for hours and, um, you know, work another platform. That's the best thing I can tell you. God bless y'all.